SAPILM, Information Lifecycle Management. Interview Questions and Answers. What is SAPILM, and what are its benefits? SAPILM stands for Information Lifecycle Management. It helps organizations manage their data throughout its life cycle, from creation to disposal, and offers benefits like reduced storage costs, improved compliance, and increased security. How does SAP ILM differ from traditional data archiving? Traditional data archiving focuses on reducing the amount of data in production systems, while SAP ILM offers a comprehensive approach to managing data across its entire life cycle, including data retention, legal hold, and disposition. What are some of the key components of SAP ILM? The key components of SAP ILM include retention management, legal hold, destruction, and audit logging. What is retention management, and how does it work? Retention management is the process of determining how long data should be kept based on business, legal, and regulatory requirements. SAP ILM enables organizations to create and manage retention rules for different types of data, ensuring that it is retained for the appropriate amount of time. What is legal hold, and how does it work? Legal hold is the process of preserving data that is relevant to a legal matter. SAP ILM enables organizations to place legal holds on data, ensuring that it is not altered or destroyed until the matter is resolved. What is data destruction, and how does it work? Data destruction is the process of securely disposing of data that is no longer needed. SAP ILM enables organizations to define and execute destruction policies for different types of data, ensuring that it is disposed of in a compliant and secure manner. What is audit logging, and how does it work? Audit logging is the process of recording actions taken on data, including creation, modification, and destruction. SAP ILM enables organizations to track and report on these actions, helping to ensure compliance and reduce risk. How does SAP ILM integrate with other SAP modules? SAP ILM integrates with other SAP modules through the use of standard interfaces and APIs. It can also be integrated with third-party systems through web services. What is the difference between legal hold and data retention? Legal hold is a process of preserving data that is relevant to a legal matter, while data retention is the process of determining how long data should be kept based on business, legal, and regulatory requirements. What is the role of SAP ILM in data privacy compliance? SAP ILM helps organizations manage data privacy compliance by enabling them to identify and classify sensitive data, manage access controls, and enforce retention policies. What are some of the key challenges in implementing SAP ILM? Some of the key challenges in implementing SAP ILM include defining and managing retention rules, ensuring compliance with legal and regulatory requirements, and integrating with other SAP modules and third-party systems. What is the difference between SAP ILM and SAP Information Steward? SAP ILM focuses on managing data throughout its life cycle, while SAP Information Steward focuses on data quality and governance. What is the role of retention classes in SAP ILM? Retention classes are used to define retention rules for different types of data in SAP ILM, helping organizations ensure that data is retained for the appropriate amount of time based on business, legal, and regulatory requirements. What is a file plan, and how is it used in SAP ILM? A file plan is a document that outlines the retention and disposition requirements for different types of data. It is used in SAP ILM to help organizations manage data throughout its life cycle. How does SAP ILM help organizations manage data privacy regulations like GDPR? SAP ILM helps organizations manage data privacy regulations like GDPR by enabling them to identify and classify sensitive data, manage access controls, and enforce retention policies. What is the difference between active data and inactive data? Active data is data that is regularly accessed and modified, while inactive data is data that is no longer actively used but may still need to be retained for business or legal reasons. What is the role of retention periods in SAP ILM? 
Retention periods are used to determine how long data should be retained in SAP ILM. They are based on business, legal, and regulatory requirements and can vary depending on the type of data. What is the difference between retention periods and legal holds? Retention periods are used to determine how long data should be retained, while legal holds are used to preserve data that is relevant to a legal matter. How does SAP ILM support data classification? SAP ILM supports data classification by enabling organizations to identify and classify data based on its sensitivity and importance. This helps organizations manage data more effectively throughout its life cycle. What is the difference between data classification and retention management? Data classification is the process of identifying and classifying data based on its sensitivity and importance while retention management is the process of determining how long data should be retained based on business, legal, and regulatory requirements. What is the role of legal requirements in SAP ILM? Legal requirements are used to determine how long data should be retained based on legal and regulatory requirements. SAP ILM enables organizations to define and manage these requirements for different types of data, how does SAP ILM support data security? SAP ILM supports data security by enabling organizations to manage access controls, enforce retention policies, and securely dispose of data that is no longer needed. What is the role of destruction policies in SAP ILM? Destruction policies are used to securely dispose of data that is no longer needed in SAP ILM. They are based on business, legal, and regulatory requirements and can vary depending on the type of data. What is the difference between SAP ILM and SAP GRC? SAP ILM focuses on managing data throughout its life cycle, while SAP GRC focuses on managing risks and ensuring compliance across the organization. What is the role of retention schedules in SAP ILM? Retention schedules are used to define retention rules for different types of data in SAP ILM, helping organizations ensure that data is retained for the appropriate amount of time based on business, legal, and regulatory requirements. What is the difference between data retention and data disposal? Data retention is the process of determining how long data should be kept based on business, legal, and regulatory requirements while data disposal is the process of securely disposing of data that is no longer needed. What is the difference between SAP ILM and SAP Data Archiving? SAP ILM offers a comprehensive approach to managing data throughout its life cycle, while SAP Data Archiving focuses on reducing the amount of data in production systems. How does SAP ILM support audit and reporting requirements? SAP ILM supports audit and reporting requirements by enabling organizations to track and report on actions taken on data throughout its life cycle, 